welcome everybody to Google Cloud Innovators and in Telecommunications. And we're at Digital Transformation World here in Copenhagen. And I have with me Yannick and Abdelnour. Yannick, could you please introduce yourself? Yes, sure, Brian. So I'm uh, part of uh, the global telco industry team at Capgemini, and I'm leader on the AI and analytics offers. Thank you so much for being here, Abdelnour. Yeah, nice to having you, uh, Brian. Um, uh, so my name is Abdelnour. I'm a solution architect in the telco industry solution team and uh, very passionate about sustainability for telco, what Google Cloud can do for helping our CSP customers on that. Well, and that's why we're here with both of you to talk a little bit about sustainability and not just sustainability in general, but sustainability in the network because we did a catalyst project here, a moonshot. Tell me a little bit about that. So when we started this project, the realization was clear. Uh, CSP are doing a great job, but uh, they are pretty much accounting for 2 to 3% of the overall uh, energy demand across the globe. And if we do nothing today with the exponential growth of traffic, it's probably going to double by 2025 compared to 2020 if we do nothing else. So the moonshot was really about how we can change that curve and how we can cut typically 25% of the energy consumption, especially in one area of the network, which is the most demanding uh, in terms of energy, which is the radio access network. So that was really about uh, solving that, uh, our, that problem, which is reducing energy consumption and driving more savings in terms of OPEX and also in terms of carbon footprints. Well, that's a big problem statement and a lot of energy consumption coming from, from this group. And the need for data and the need for that bandwidth isn't slowing down. So with that problem statement, Yannick, how did we kind of, how did you look at that? Mm. And how did we come together okay. to resolve? Okay, so there are several approaches. Well, several of them were explored in the Catalyst. Uh, one way is to look at um, networking technology, radio technology, uh, chip size, chip consumption, and so on. So we had, we had some of our partners doing this. But uh, with, um, with Google, we took uh, a different approach. Um, we, um, at Capgemini, we have a, a network AI framework, which we used uh, to uh, acquire network data, understand um, uh, the requirement in terms of uh, usage, understand quality of service, uh, and then adapt network resources to demand. So we make sure we, uh, we get optimal quality of service at all time, but we have only those resources that are needed, and thus uh, we make sure we uh, we don't consume more electricity than is really needed, thanks to AI, and thanks to the predictive capabilities of, uh, of AI. So we're using AI at the network level, and it was Google Cloud, Capgemini, and who was the network equipment provider, the RAN provider yeah. in this case? So the great thing about this project is that we could realize that you know, this concern resonated across the globe. So it was not like what people think, which is like, um, it's uh, specific to Europe. So it's, uh, it was really uh, resonating to uh, different uh, champions across the globe from America. You, we have people from like, like Verizon Wireless uh, to Asia with China Mobile and Telenor. So uh, different solutions were explored, some from you know, native network equipment providers, but it was, it was also key to show that some player like Capgemini and Google Cloud which are actually vendor agnostic, can also provide those solutions on top of the existing uh, network um, uh, equipment. So that was a really pan, you know, global uh, uh, project involving many. Sustainability is global. Exactly. The companies participating here were global. It sounds like we had representative, representatives from the CSP community from all around and working on the round. What were some of the results? What were we looking at there? Yeah. And indeed, we are quite happy about the results. So we did a simulation of uh, one month of uh, real network data, and we got 10% saving um, uh, on top of what they could achieve with all the other mechanisms they had on, on the network. And 10%, uh, so you have to imagine that typically a large uh, network operator is spending something like a billion a year on electricity for the run. So a billion a year, 10%, you get 100 million it's euros saving. a large, saving. large yeah. number. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Even for a small operator, that's a big number. Yeah, sure. Operating in small margins and saving 10% is tremendous, yeah. so exactly. I, I can't believe it. But how would I, as an operator, be able to calculate that? What, what have we done there? 
Yeah, we also had a, uh, a great focus on also making sure the solution we are proposing as part of this Moonshine Catalyst are really, uh, really something that can be built and justify to an uh, executive in the CSP with a, a very uh, pragmatic uh, ROI calculation approach. So uh, some of the outcome of the project are you know, contributed back to the community with helping uh, with a, a lot of different methodology to build the ROI, mixing both you know, long-term capex heavy solution we also uh, quick time to value solutions that are more like OPEX oriented and can give you dividend very quickly. So that's so the methodology we... Sustainability we is not charity. And developing a business case and an ROI, in this case, it's both good for the environment and good for business. And with that ROI calculator, if I'm a CSP, how can I engage here and learn more and take action myself? Uh, we take real network data we evaluate how much we can save, and then we build a business case. And ba based on the business case, we can justify investment, and I'm sure we can justify investment, and then deploy and do the full rollout, which can be done in a matter of a, a few months. And that's really the interest of the approach. We can do it on top of existing networks without changing the hardware. And uh, with Google Cloud as a partner, that's really making it easy to deploy the storage capabilities and the processing capabilities we need and to do this, to do this from, from a very good point, and then to, uh, to actually have an impact on the, on the network. And also something important, which is that those applications are AI ML heavy, and running those applications in a very efficient cloud platform, running you know, the best of breed of you know, energy efficient data center, is also a, uh, another um, capability that we bring, and uh, also making sure you don't offset the effort on one side, by burning and uh, emitting a lot of carbon on the other side. So uh, that's also a uh, great value that we bring. Uh, and at Google Cloud, we have a carbon-free uh, um, commitment as uh, well. We are carbon-free energy, and uh, we are uh, some of the greenest uh, uh, data center in the industry. So that's we, what we also want to contribute to the whole uh, CSP community. I, I think it's a tremendous thing, and it's something that's hugely responsible. And we really appreciate all the work that you guys have done. And can I? come to the Catalyst Project uh, webpage, uh, how do I get a hold of the calculator? What do I do? How do I get a hold of this? Um, yeah, you can have a look uh, at the project on the Catalyst webpage. We can provide the, the, the link. For accessing the private document, you need to be part of the TM forum, but most operators and you uh, are. Um, and the, but then the quickest way is to contact Abdel or myself, and then we can show help you. This sounds great. I really appreciate the work. Thanks, Thanks. for sitting down with us. And a moonshot catalyst isn't so far away. We've, we've landed on the moon before. Yeah. So, Abdenor, Yanni, thank you so much for being here. We really appreciate it, and we're excited to go where we go in the future and really work with sustainability and get the RANs as clean as they can be. And with that, we're out of here from Digital Transformation World, Copenhagen.